hi guys so another video uh, about the strategy i am fine-tuning uh, my previous video was about tesla uh, and um, uh, that i started investing in it and uh, for the time being my goal is 20 percent of my portfolio and my goal is still to go to 80 percent um bitcoin cash in my case um if it indeed corrects to a new low which i think is not probable uh, sorry possible but i think it has actually become probable so i changed this to likely um i do think it's likely we'll see a new bottom why well you know uh in my previous video or the video before i uh, that, that the bull bear cycle um um suggests that we will see a new low um and uh but there's something else that suggests it and this if you look into the future um where uh, how high it will go in 2023 uh, the, the 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 peak of the next mania is expected uh but how high will that be well we look at the logarithmic log regression line uh, where it is in 2023 here and we see that it's all about um, a little bit below the middle of uh, of uh, 1 trillion, 10 trillion. But uh, that's actually because it's logarithmic, that's 3.2 trillion. But we also expect it to be about, maybe it will peak out at 500% overvaluation. So let's say 400%. So that would be a market cap of 16 trillion for all cryptos combined. Huh? That is a crazy number. Huh? if we reach that uh and, and 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 but yeah this is based on past price history huh? if it just continues growing like this this is what will happen huh? of course if new data comes in and it's more bullish huh? let's say we stay here and then we go up into a new bull market you will see that this red line is moved upwards and that actually the price expected at this point here is becomes higher um but inversely if we get a bear market that is stronger than this eh, so the pattern gets broken because actually the pattern is now being broken to the upside this may continue or not eh? but if it's um uh, if it's continued then actually prices become more higher expected price become higher because average price data becomes higher too eh? um but the same is true to the downside. Let's say we get a bear market that's much worse actually than this, uh, and it shoots below it, uh, below the hundred billion, and then let's say it's, it, it it makes a new low at fifty billion, but then it stays there a lot longer than expected. Instead of maybe like half a year, it stays there maybe a year, two years, and average prices do go down also, and this 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 line will be pulled down, and expected prices for the next bull market will be lower. But right now, with the price that, that we have, uh, this is the expected price, and that's uh, tremendous. Eh? That is tremendous because if you look at the different coins uh, and you make an estimate, what will be the market share of these coins at the peak? Well, the market share of these coins at the previous top in uh, early 2018, when the total uh, market cap was 830 billion, well, actually, it was around four, 550 billion when Bitcoin peaked out, and it was then 40% uh, market share. Uh, but it was a higher because this compared to 830 here. But um, anyway, th these were the peaks. If you compare it to the peak uh, valuation of all uh, of, of the total market cap, that was 830 billion. And if but these peak, peaked out at different moments. Uh, but if you look at the total value of Bitcoin that peaked out earlier, then that was like 40% of this. But we also have to estimate here a peak value of all coins at the next peak. And of course, they're not going to peak out the same at the same time. Usually Bitcoin peaks out before that, and usually that's then a little bit lower. But compared to this price, my estimate is that the next bull market, Bitcoin will again have lost a lot of market share. And uh, how much? We can see that um, the peak. Wait. So, so in the previous, um, well, what, what has been the pattern? Well, um, the peak in market share was at sixty percent here, 
um, um, for Bitcoin in a previous bull market. Um, but that was when, yeah, that's not compared to the, the, the maximum valuation. Huh? Uh, the maximum valuation, um, let me check. So, 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 the sixty percent is not compared to a thirty billion. That's compared to five hundred billion when when Bitcoin peaked out. Then it was sixty percent. But um, I'm not using that number here. Uh, I'm using the number. Um, but yeah. Anyway, if you look at like sixty percent is the peak here. Eh? But in previous uh, bull market, the peak was um, here ninety percent. Eh? So ninety percent. Yeah, if you look at the end of the cycle, at the end of the bull market, actually Bitcoin dominance was not 90%, but 85%. That's when the total market cap went up. You all usually at the end of the cycle, you see that also make a last push and push down Bitcoin dominance. And that's the actual peak. That was the peak of the bull market in 2013. Bitcoin dominance was 85%. The same happened at the end of the bull market in 2017. Um, there was a last altcoin push uh, in January, and then Bitcoin dropped from 60 to 40. So from 85% at the end of the bull market, it went down to 40%, actually 35%. So from 85 to 35 is a huge drop, of course. Eh? Um, so the question is, what will be the next peak? If this is the pattern, and very likely the pattern will continue because Bitcoin has not solved these problems. Huh? It's still expensive to do transactions. Uh, it cannot scale. It's artificially limited to scale. And and, and the, 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 the Lightning Network is not uh, making up for um, that loss in transactions. It's just going to other coins. So it, it, it's, it's expected that this pattern will continue and that uh, Bitcoin will continue to lose market share. So we have to estimate how high will it, its market share be at the end of the next bull market that is only in four or five years from here, 2023. Well, we went from 85 to 35. What will be in the next peak? Well, probably like 20 maybe, huh? 85 to 35, that's more than cut in half. But yeah, you can't cut in half. Well, if you cut in half 35, then you write 17, but let's be generous because maybe I'm biased. Eh? Let's give it 20, eh? but it could equally be 15. But if it is at the end of the market, uh, next boom, if it's 16 trillion and, and, and Bitcoin has 20% of that, that means that one Bitcoin will go up to 166,000 at the end of the cycle. Um, what is the return then for Bitcoin? Uh, that's uh, 21 folding from the current price of 8,000. Eh? Um, the same exercise I did for uh, Bitcoin Cash and Ethereum. I think um, at the previous bull market, Ethereum was half the size of Bitcoin. But I think in the next bull market, by the end of it, it will become bigger as Bitcoin. And so I just yeah, I put here like I basically added here 33 uh, percent, uh, 16 plus 33. And I did the same for Bitcoin Cash. That probably will pick a little bit of the market share that Bitcoin BTC loses will go to Bitcoin Cash. And these are exceptional performances. Most coins will not succeed in gaining market share in the next bull market because many new coins will come. So it's actually very, very like strong statement to say that Ethereum will go up in market share, even though market is like going hundredfolding, then within that Ethereum is still gaining market share. That's a, a strong expression. Um, and you could equally say like, no, no, let's, let's be modest here. Let's say that Ethereum as one of the only coins succeeds in keeping its market share. That certainly is possible. That still gives very good returns, 82 folding from current price. It's not a big difference, 100 versus 82. So I think we can do it like this. Uh, and for, for Bitcoin Cash, I do want to be as realistic as possible. I do think Bitcoin Cash will succeed in gaining market share uh, because Bitcoin BTC will lose some. A lot again and i think bitcoin cash will succeed in gaining some so what does that mean it means that from current prices bitcoin um, is um btc is able to 200 fold eh? that's tremendous eh? uh, but ethereum is able to 80 fold and bitcoin btc is able to 20 fold um 
And I also put in Tesla here because uh, I think it's really a good alternative to crypto today. Mm, Tesla corrected from a peak of $380 to $200 today. Um, but what is the potential? I, I also want to say that, like, if you look at this, 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 that's crazy. Eh? That's crazy. If, 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 if the total market becomes 16 trillion and something like Bitcoin cash becomes 1 trillion, you know what that is 1 trillion? Or Ethereum, 3 trillion. Eh? Or, or Bitcoin, 3 trillion. You know, the total market cap of, for example, the US dollar is only 5 trillion. Eh? <laughs> so, so, so that's why I'm, I'm, I'm actually skeptical of these numbers, even though I, I, the logarithmic regression line is totally pointing to these numbers. That's not a calculation mistake. I still find it so hard to believe that we will get so, such valuations, but it is possible. What is the potential for a, a company like Tesla? Well, today it's like 35 billion, the market cap, uh, but I do think it has a chance to go up to 1 trillion, which means that it would become the biggest company in the world today. That's Amazon at 900 billion. Huh? And that would be only in five years. But that's the potential. Eh? Potential is like, what's the best case here? Eh? These are like best cases. Eh? Uh, 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 it's much more likely this will not happen in five years, but, but it, I think it can happen in 10 years. But okay, then uh, if it would succeed in doing that, then it would also 20 fold like Bitcoin. But then we have to give here probabilities. Huh? Like, okay, this is the potential reward. What are the odds that you will get that? Huh? And, 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 and I do think these are very different numbers because, well, <sighs> Even though we are extrapolating past performance here, the fundamentals have changed. Eh? And yes, we saw that, that Bitcoin, for example, uh, lost a lot of market share. But for most of the bull market, actually, Bitcoin did not have transaction problems. It's only in 2017 that Bitcoin changed uh, its fundamentals and, 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 and did not raise the block size when it was absolutely necessary. And, and, and due to that, started to have high transaction fees. But that's only for one year during the bull market. The, the years before, the two years before, that was not the case. So, 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 so I think that, that, and also just as an investor, like a, a technology that's not easy to use. Um, I mean, a technology that changes huh, and becomes unfriendly to use that's a serious change. And so that's why I give the odds that Bitcoin BTC actually will continue the pattern as before and will only lose like half of its market share again in the next cycle. And therefore, we'll go to 3.2 trillion. I will only give that 10% odds because it's possible. It's possible. I mean, we've seen crazy things in bubbles, but you know, people have to put their money down and many people have to put their money down to bring valuations to such crazy numbers. And yeah, it might be that many people choose actually not to do that. Huh? Uh, so that's why I only give it 10% also. Also, like, yes, uh, it's based on, 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 on current price history, what the future prices will be of, of, of cryptocurrency. But uh, it's my opinion that, um, well, Bitcoin has changed fundamentally and it's only like two years now. And I do believe there is actually a very good chance that Bitcoin takes the whole industry um, down. Uh, I don't not destroy it, but really slows its growth much more than should be. Uh, um, because, yeah, most people that come into crypto, yeah, they do go to Bitcoin BTC and when they discover, well, first of all, they won't. I think many people won't make the step as before the moment they consider investing in Bitcoin BTC, but then they study it a little bit and they discover like, what is $5 per transaction or $10 per transaction? Like that makes no sense. What the fuck is this like? And they just turn away and they don't invest. And so I think this is what will happen to the total industry because first they go to Bitcoin, but if they don't even go into Bitcoin, then it's also not going to flow into the other coins. So that's why I, I, I don't give this like, a 50% chance that we will get this. Huh? Uh, certainly not a 100% chance. Huh? Like this is not a certainty at all that we will get there. Yeah, based on past um, uh, performance, we will get there. But fundamentals have changed drastically. So 
if the fundamentals would stay the same, have stayed the same, and Bitcoin was still killing it, huh? it was still a great coin to use, then I would could say like, okay, okay, it's crazy, but let's give it all 50% here. Huh? Let, let's say like, okay, it's a crazy number eh, that, that in only five years, these coins will be equally value to the, valuable to the US dollar and the euro, eh, or maybe half of it. That's crazy, but okay, let's give it 50% chance because, well, nothing has changed and the industry is just uh, continuing to progress well. Adoption looks, well, great as before. Amount of transactions continues to go up. So yeah, like it's a crazy number, but let's give it 50% chance. Huh? But I, I, this is not what we can say here. Huh? No, no. Something fundamentally has changed and therefore I don't give this a 50% chance anymore. Huh? The whole industry, you can cut in two here. Huh? Uh, so 25, 25, 25. Huh? But within that, there is a big difference. Like it's actually Bitcoin BTC that's fucking up, not the other ones. So let's cut this in half too, but let's give so the other ones some extra. So that's like 31 and 31. Yeah. But then there's a difference between Ethereum and Bitcoin BCH. Well, you can keep that the same. They both do very well, I think. So voila, this is the end result. Eh? Like, yes, eh? if the past performance continues, Bitcoin will 20 fold, Ethereum 80 fold, and Bitcoin Cash will 200 fold. But considering odds are actually not so high as before that the past performance will continue into the future, 20 fold goes down to only an expected return of two fold. Huh? And that means that this is the potential, but it won't be reached by that time. Huh? I think that, that that will not succeed. No. But of course, it won't, it won't go down to zero neither. So this Ethereum, yes. Uh, they do a good job, but because the whole industry is not growing as fast as before, they will pay a price for that. Huh? So yeah, the potential is 20k, but I think we cannot count. I mean, if you count probabilities for this to happen and for past performance to continue into the future, no, 30%. So instead of 80 folding, yes, you can count on like, okay, if we estimate modestly, we will 20 fold of uh, 25 fold. That's of course still amazing in five years. Huh? And, and for Bitcoin Cash, no, it will not 200 fold, but it can 65 fold. So that's amazing. Huh? Uh, so, so from this, I conclude that Bitcoin Cash is actually a, still a very good investment, even at current price, because all these are based on current prices. However, if we make a new low, but, but so, so also because of this, I believe actually it's really likely we make a new bottom because these prices are based on making a new bottom. Eh? These valuations are based on uh, past uh, 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 on this chart, eh? on this red line that's based on price data until here. And if you make the bull bear cycles, as, as I make the case in the previous video, they actually look like this, eh? even with this new price info included, this bull bear cycle looks like this. And then still we get here a $16 trillion valuation. Eh? And, but that means this line will go back to here. And as you can see, it always goes a little bit below it. Eh? It always goes a little bit below it when it comes from above it. Eh? So now too, it will go below it. That's 100 billion. That means we go to 80 billion or so at least. Eh? And then we should back up and we continue. We make a new bottom, shake out many people. And then still we're on track to totally kill it huh? um, but yeah. even if we do that huh? I find it so so hard to imagine that we will get to such valuations but okay I have to admit that that's what's how it looks today but okay you want to estimate a little bit realistically here and modestly and that's I think the risk reward or the expected return but you can see that like Ethereum is a 10 times better investment than Bitcoin BTC. But in my opinion here, this is all my opinion, Bitcoin Cash is a better investment than Ethereum here. Huh? Let's look at Tesla. 
Um, Tesla, um, what's the odds that it will be in five years at 1.1 trillion? I'll give that 50%. That's on the high end. That's on the high end. Um, but yeah, it's based just on growth. They've been growing uh, by 80% per year in revenue. I'm not going to make this video about Tesla and why I believe uh, uh, it has this potential, but it means like if you give it 50% odds, actually that's half of the value that, uh, so it's like 500 billion. That's the same size as, as the biggest companies in the world. Huh? And that's double the size as Toyota today, uh, but at the same size as Google or Facebook. Um, Amazon is, is the biggest one. It's like 1 trillion, but that means that if it goes in five years to 500 billion, currently it's 30 tau. 32 billion that's like 20 folding from here uh, that's, that's 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 quite something um i do think there's a potential and you give it a um 50 chance basically that's the risk reward i uh, i have as a result um so let's continue here um the next thing is Yeah, investment plan. Huh? Um, so currently I am at 46%, but that will be different for anyone. Um, but my plan is to go to a majority 65% if we do reach an undervaluation of minus 55% in cryptocurrency. I think it's very likely we'll hit this even if we start the new bull market, even if we saw the low, the low at 3,150. And still, I think is very likely to happen because in the past, any every time a bull market started, we saw undervaluation go up over time during the sideways movement. So I expect this to happen again. Uh, and also just merely just testing the bottom here of 3050. I think it's very likely we'll hit these prices here. And, uh, and so I think that's a good time to go to a majority exposure because of course, uh, we don't want to risk being left behind here. If the bull market is starting, it's certainly possible here. Uh, it might be that people are front running. Um, I mean, there's so much potential in cryptocurrency. Why can these numbers be reached? Because, well, it's the first time in millennia uh, that, uh, no, in centuries, that private currency is allowed. And, and so it's competing with government currencies. I mean, this can really be an explosion in value. And a, and a massive bubble, of course, uh, but um, yeah, it is it is like opening up of of of. of it's the same as having a, opening a communist country where private enterprise is not allowed, and suddenly saying like, okay, you can start your own companies now. Uh, every everybody can start their own business. Yeah, that's gonna give an explosion in 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 in, in the value huh, uh, of businesses. This is what's happening here. So. I think that might cause indeed that, that, that currently we see the market pumping uh, prematurely and rapidly. Maybe indeed uh, people are front running uh, potential prices and, and, and that's why the market goes up faster. It's possible that indeed there is a possibility that we don't see a new low. I'm going to call it a possibility, not a probability, eh, but a possibility. And in that case, you do need to buy because well, potential is much, much higher. Eh? even for a coin that's failing, like Bitcoin, uh, the potential is to make a uh, uh, 20 fold your money. Eh? Um, I don't think that's probable to happen, but it is the potential. Eh? Um, but coins that are not failing, uh, I mean, uh, yeah, you can 80 fold, 100 fold with the top coins. That's not a high risk, eh? a top coin, buying a top coin. Uh, I mean, it's very likely the adoption that they've seen in the past will continue into the future. So the risk is not that high and the potential reward is really big. So you really don't want to be left behind. And so you can't set this too low. I, I long consider to set these prices at the double bottom, for example, that is also likely to happen, not very likely. Sorry, I do think likely now, uh, but now I erased it. So, okay, I will go to a majority here again. For me, Bitcoin Cash at 200. That means that, uh, let's do the simulation here, the 10,000 now in my case is invested for about half in crypto, the other half not. 
Um, and I will plan if we do make this correction, uh, then the value of my crypto uh, will go down from 5K to 2K. It will only be 30%. Now it's 46%. And then I will raise it uh, to 65. So I will more than double the amount of coins I have here. And, uh, and I'll keep have left in cash about 2,700, about 35% that I don't invest at these prices. And then um, if it indeed makes a new low, I go to 80% exposure. As you may have noticed, I lowered this because um, I want to invest in Tesla. And so everything that's not investing in crypto will be invested in Tesla in the meantime because it's collapsing right now. I think it has a good chance in the short term over the next few months to go up a lot over the next half year. Uh, and so it's a short term good investment, I think, but a long term one too. So that's my plan. I am willing to bet my cash on another investment while I'm waiting to buy possibly the lows. But if I can't buy the lows, like that's possible. I don't want my cash to be sitting there on the sidelines for years. Uh, and I do want it to invest in something good, but it's right now I see an opportunity in Tesla. So I have to make sure that if these prices are not hit, I do have this amount already invested in Tesla because by that time, maybe it's up already. So, but worst case, um, we do make these lows. I will decide to go 80% in the crypto. That means I will have to lower my Tesla position from basically half of my portfolio to 35% of my portfolio and then to only 20% of my portfolio. And I might have to sell it for a loss. So that's my plan. Um, and the amount of coins, uh, if it works, uh, currently at 11 that will be raised to 25, doubling if we reach these prices. And if we reach these prices, it will again be doubled. So two doublings. That's a potential to increase my crypto session. And that would be, of course, amazing. Um, at these values, the risk reward goes up a lot. Eh? If you take these prices uh, and you put them here, The risk reward goes up a lot, huh? You see, 65, 300, so it's times four. Right? If you can buy four times cheaper than today, you also have the potential to pay, make four times more. So these are much better prices to invest, especially considering these are expected to happen also. People have been asking for this sheet, but the problem is it's always changing. Uh, so I don't know how I can practically share this um, yet, but uh, I will think about it more for the future. I've strongly considered actually to scale this down because if you look at my goal, my goal actually I lowered this to 51%. Um, a majority here. But I think actually it doesn't make much sense to go higher than 80%. For example, let's say I'm going to go 90% here or 100%. I invested all in, in, in Bitcoin cash at the bottom. How many more coins do I have? I, I end up with 56. If I, if I only go to 80% here, I end up with 51 coins. There's only a difference of 10% more coins. But I'm risking everything on Bitcoin cash and only have 10% more. And I don't have a Tesla position. That's not a good, that's not a good idea. Huh? So it, even 90% is too much because you have to look at this number here. This is the Tesla position I will keep. If I go to 90%, I lose half of the Tesla position. If I go to 80%, I will keep double the Tesla position than going to 90%. And there is a small chance it fails. Huh? But especially like if you look at the amount of coins, what difference does it make if you have 10% more coins or not? That's not so important huh? uh, compared to the value of having another in totally unrelated investment to crypto, especially considering the risks due today in, in, in Bitcoin. Just the whole crypto industry is already overvalued, in my opinion, today. Uh, market valuations are um, Bitcoin is like 100 billion, but Tesla is like only 30 billion. But Bitcoin is a failing coin. How, how, how is that three times more valuable? Bitcoin Cash is like 7 billion today. Tesla is 35 billion. But Bitcoin Cash, even though I believe strongly in, the, in, 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 in that project, 
I mean, it's not worth 7 billion compared to Tesla 35. Why not? Because, well, Bitcoin Cash has a lot of work to do to find adoption. How many people actually use Bitcoin Cash today? That's a very low amount of people, much less people than that buy Tesla cars. How, how much is the growth in adoption with Bitcoin BCH, even though it's probably growing a lot faster than Bitcoin BTC in actual usage? It's still a lot lower than the growth that Tesla is showing, going up every year with 80% in sales, um, in amount of revenue it generates. Huh? Um, so I think we're at the start of a bull market and, and, and crypto, in my opinion, is already overvalued. Huh? Uh, yeah, that's not uh, that's not a good thing. That's why modesty uh, should be in its place because it's still uh, expected to go lower. Uh, so I was considering scaling it down even more because if I want to be invested like 51% when we reach 35% under valuation, okay, we're past that, but then we went back up. Now we're at this valuation. But that means that actually I should only be 32% invested today. If I want to be 51 at here and I want to be 80 at here, then I should only be 32% invested today. And this is applicable for everybody um, unless you change these numbers. Huh? Uh, yeah. So, so, yeah, I was considering selling down actually from 48% to 32% considering prices are still relatively good today. But of course, the problem is, uh, you sh yeah, the bull market may have started. We may never revisit these prices, and then of course it will be painful huh? um, because I already sold ha sold half my Bitcoin cash. Uh, I sell even more. It's going to become painful um, if it runs away from me. So I can't do that. And indeed, that is a good good principle to not sell any coins that you bought during a bear market in crypto. Um, so that's why I decided not to do that. Um, yeah. I think indeed the most valuable lesson I can teach uh, is, is that it's always about probabilities. We, we don't know what's going to happen, uh, but it is our job as investors to estimate what's going to happen and give it a some kind of probability. Uh, do this estimate of how probable is that it will happen and what's my expected return. Uh, try to see as realistically as possible uh, to the potential, but also to the risk. Huh? And that's why this is very important. Yes, the potential is very important, but the risk also, you really have to look at the risk. Huh? How, how probable is that you will reach the potential? Huh? Thanks so much for watching.